What can change the nature of a moon? It's a question I've been thinking about a lot. Specifically, the moon from Majora's Mask, which was changed for the recent 3DS re-release. It's a change that's been really bothering me ever since they initially revealed it, and I haven't been able to quite put my finger on why. When something you grew up with is brought back and changed, it's easy to fall into the trap of just saying, I don't like it because it's different. And I kind of thought that was what was going on for a while. Especially because lots of people seem to really, really like the new moon. A lot of people felt that the original moon kind of looked stupid. And those same people felt that the redesign gave the moon a much more menacing look. But the more I look at it, the more I think that that's not true. I won't argue that the redesigned moon doesn't look more aggressive. That's definitely, definitely true. But more frightening? I don't think so. And I think that what this comes down to is a difference in perceptions in terms of what we feel frightened about. I don't believe menace in itself is frightening. And the new version of the moon they've created has a sense of character, has a lot more character than the original. The original moon was somehow almost void, this vacant nothingness of a thing. It did look strangely stupid in an odd way, but also just uncaring. It was this ball of apathy with a chilling, odd grin crushing down towards you without a care in the world. And you go back and look through any good horror movies, the ones with the characters that really get into your head and mess you up the most are the ones who you can't fathom. Because the angry man with the axe might calm down. Anger in itself is something which can be appeased, something which can possibly be changed. But the real fear? For my money, real terror comes about when there's no motive. One of my favorite thrillers of all time is The Hitcher, starring Rutger Hauer. And his character in that just doesn't have a motive. He's just terrifying. Why? What does he want? Uh, nothing. Just, oh God. And weirdly, that's what the moon was like for me in Majora's Mask. It didn't have any anger. It didn't want to destroy you. It didn't care about you. It didn't have a character. It was just this thing, this inherently malevolent force slowly coming down to crush the world in a deeply uncaring way. And it was such a perfect fit for the themes of Majora's Mask, the themes of death and mortality. Having this symbol that appears and is coming and you cannot escape it. And it doesn't really care about you. It doesn't care about anything. It's just strange and ceaseless. So I can't help but feel that when a lot of people said that the original moon looked dumb and that the new moon looked scary, they were kind of missing the point. Because by giving the moon an angry face and in doing so giving it more of a character, Majora's Mask's moon just becomes another villain, another bad guy that you have to stop because it's bad and it wants to kill you. And it's not the end of the world, but it does feel like a shame because in this case, changing the nature of the moon has sort of changed the nature of the game. Anyway, that's it. Just a little thought that's been bothering me. Bye. <laughs>